Hey, welcome back. So now what we need to do is change the country and state to actual uh, values. Yes, because we don't want currently we are saving IDs of those two. That's an ID. That's an ID. OK, not very nice. So let's come back here. Now, if we go to countries class here, we have one where it says get states and uh, these uh, get countries, right? But let's convert these bad boys to something more to our choosing. So I'll duplicate the two, the two functions. But this one will be get country and get state using one ID and using an ID over there. Okay, pretty simple, right? So here I'm going to say query is equal to select all from countries where. So I'm going to add the where close. Where ID, let me come back here and monitor the uh, countries. So it's just an ID, right? ID and ID over there. Okay. So where ID be equal to ID. Now we don't need to use quotes here because these are numbers, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. So we'll do it that way, where ID is equal to ID. Now we have to make sure the ID is an, uh, an integer. So we'll do it like that, very good. And I will copy this to the friend. Oh, already done, yes, yes. So where, instead of parent, we'll use ID. We don't need to order by anything. We're just getting one item here. So we can save the database some work. And then we are returning just one item here, just one item there. Now, because we are using this uh, notation, which means this has to always be an array. Otherwise, uh, things will break down. So this is where we need to be able to ask return actually we can just put an if statement here directly in the return uh, path here so we're just going to say if uh, let me copy this data zero i'll say is array like that mm -hmm. so if this is an array then return uh, the array itself oh wait 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 like that yes it has to be like that hmm. and then here i will return false instead yeah mm -hmm. so that's what i need to copy so if the array is set return the array the first item if not return false okay so get country get state Ooh, very good so now all we need to do is uh get this get country copy that let's come to the order class and right here we shall uh, initialize one of these guys so countries is equal to okay there we go so now what i want is data country yes and state to be changed so I will copy this and put it here. So countries, uh, country is going to get country. Uh -huh. And then this post country is the ID itself. So put it there. Uh -huh. Looking good, looking good. And the other one is uh, get uh, state. Same thing. So copy all of that up to here, paste them, change that to state, and we leave that one as it is, and close. Mm -hmm. Then let's remove this one. We don't need that. So let's get ready for some errors. Refresh and resend. Bam. Okay, 
So call to undefined method order uh, load model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, the problem is um, this method is being called from within another class. So we can't really use this per se here. So if we want to use this, we would uh, extend the, wait a minute. Yeah, we, we would need to extend the controller. So where are we? So if I go to the core and go to controller, so controller has view, has load model. Yeah, so I think we can extend that here. So order extends controller. That way we have access to load model because the alternative is to add the model from here, but uh, I think we've done that kind of thing before. Let's try it this way. That way you see the, the many ways you can do one thing. So let's try again and I will reset. Cannot redeclare really class countries because the name already in use. Where did I declare it? Online foe. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Cannot declare class countries. Ah. It's because I've loaded it twice now. Mm -hmm. I see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the problem here is that um, the load model loads the the class the class file before um, before actually using it. So we can fix this. So what's happening is this: while we are running uh, all this, because if I go back to checkout.php, here when I code the load model. I did load the file into the whole list. And then when I get here, um, down here to save whatever I'm doing, save order. Mm -hmm. So inside save order, I actually run this again, which means I load it for the second time. Now there's a way to solve this problem. So let's go and uh, fix it uh, once and uh, for all. So where is this? Mm -hmm. So we have to go to the main controller, which actually loads the models right here. So right here where we're saying include. So if we include a class file twice, then we are declaring uh, the file twice, which we can't declare um, a class two times. So what I will do, instead of using require uh, include, I'll say require. Actually, even include has include once, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let's give it a shot, shall we? I don't know if that's even a real thing, but eh, we have nothing to lose. Object of class could not be converted to string. So I think we are moving in the right direction here because it did not rebuke uh, my use of include once. So include once just makes sure that once it was included the first time, even if I repeat that, uh, it's not included again. So that sorts the problem out. Now it says object of class could not be converted to a string. So this is a simple error. We are trying to convert a class to a string on line 68. Where is that? Database.php. Hmm, that doesn't sound good, does it? So let's go to line 68, shall we? Execute data. Okay. So what it's telling me is that I have included a class in here as part of the array objects. Okay, so which means the error is not really here, no there. The error is here where I have included an actual class. 
So it says countries is equal to get country. Uh -huh. Post country, post state. So I'm sure the result of these two bad boys is a class of some sort. So, oh yeah, indeed it is a class. Hmm. Why I not uh, understand this? Okay, so here if I retrieve the states, for example, so it's going to retrieve the first item, but that item is a row of data. So it's a, an object. So what I need is just the state itself or the country column itself. Mm -hmm. So what to do, what to do here? Hmm. So what I would do here is this. So I will, since this is returning a, an array or an object, I could concatenate. Yeah, no, that's too complicated for this video. So what I will do instead is duplicate these two. And then I will assign them to a variable of some sort. And I will say uh, country. Country. obj is equal to mm -hmm. and then go to this one as well and do the same thing state uh, obj short for object yeah. all right so once i get the object here then i can uh, use that instead i'll just do this bam and then close that up oh too far and then same thing here i will get the stat obj there we go there we go there we go my mouse is fighting my hand over here there we go okay yes this should get rid of the, the error because now we are actually getting just the string instead of the whole previously we were supplying the entire object but now we can just get the string. So let's refresh and enjoy our, the fruits of our labor. There we go. Awesomeness. Now to check how many um, records we have actually added here. Because we've been trying all this time and I'm sure it's been saving. Oh, it wasn't saving. Looky there. But as you can see now, we have a country, South Africa, state, Berg. So things are looking up. Yes, yes. Only thing now we need is uh, let's add some legitimate data so that we can add some more data to order details and then we'll have a complete order. Then we can display that to the user. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you in the next video.